Hey everyone, portfolio or investment tracker is a great way to have all of your investment in a single application. It often provides additional insights or related news making it easier to follow the latest development of the different assets that you have in your portfolio. Depending on your preference, one application might be more suitable than the other. In my previous video, I've discussed three of the best free investment tracker out there which are Yahoo Finance, Wallmine, and Google Sheets. This time we'll discuss three alternatives Delta Tracker, Tip Ranks, and Seeking Alpha. Check out the video timeline below if you're only interested in a specific application. So Delta is a mobile application allowing you to track the different assets including crypto, stocks, ETF, index, forex, and so on. They used to have a desktop application but it's no longer supported at the moment. Most of the features available are for tracking crypto assets. You can connect Delta to various cryptocurrency exchanges or wallets and you can specify which data should be imported. You can always input the data manually but this way you can import all the data and synchronize it with just a few clicks. So for example, here's how you can connect Delta to one of the available cryptocurrency exchange. So you can click the connect exchange button and then choose one of the cryptocurrency exchange supported and one of the ones uh, that I use is Coinbase and then you there's a notice about the API limitation regarding what can be imported and then uh, after you confirm you can uh, connect to Coinbase and you can also specify if you want to import uh, all the data or just specific data so uh, once you do that you will be redirected to uh, coinbase and then you can specify your credential and then after you sign in to coinbase uh, it will ask you uh, to confirm the authorization request from delta and then after you click authorize you will be redirected back so once added it could take at least a few minutes for the data to be in sync the application in my opinion has a clean look and feel. The buttons at the bottom allow you to quickly switch between the main overview, your watch list, your main portfolio, news, and finally alert. So in the overview, you can swipe to the different portfolio in case you have more than one. And then you can look into your portfolio in detail and review all of the holdings and how they have performed over time and you can filter uh, based on the highest holding uh, based on the uh, latest gain and so on so in the overview you can uh, filter the list to only show the assets that you follow and to follow an asset you can simply search for it uh, for example uh, apple and then you can just click the stars next to it to follow the stock so on the different tabs here, you can basically see the different types of assets with the basic filtering criteria. Uh, again, by the market capital, by volume, uh, and by biggest gainer or biggest losers. So the button in the middle is your uh, main portfolio. And the news section show you the relevant news or article for the assets that you follow. Um, and you can also filter this by um, asset categories and news sources. Having used this app, in my opinion, Delta is a decent crypto portfolio tracker, especially if you have your crypto assets in multiple crypto exchanges or wallets. It's a pity, however, that you can't link the application with the stock brokers directly so you don't have to manually input your stocks. Having been acquired by eToro in 2019, I would have expected that you could track at least eToro portfolio, but hopefully the support is coming soon. You can use Delta for free, but the pro or paid version is more for power user with the support for unlimited connection to crypto exchanges and wallet. There's also live price and portfolio analytics. The portfolio analytics show you simple insight on good or bad decision based on the return. And most of the insights here are more relevant for crypto, uh, such as coin split, sources, location, and so on. If you're looking for a better tracker mainly for stock investment, the next two apps that we are going to discuss are probably more suitable. So the second portfolio tracker is TipRanks. 
Tip ranks allow you to track stocks, ETF, and mutual funds. Their website is available through desktop, but you could also install the mobile app as well. You can manually input your holding uh, or synchronize it directly with your stock brokers through plate integration, which mostly support uh, US stock brokers. So once you click continue, you can pick the, the different brokers that are supported here. Tip ranks, as the name suggests, ranks financial analysts. When you view your holdings, you would see the analyst consensus and the analyst price target. The best analyst consensus, as per their rank, is only available to premium members. You can customize other fields that you would like to see on this table, such as the sector, gain, and so on. The other things that I like about tip ranks are the portfolio insights, portfolio news, and portfolio calendar. The portfolio analysis uh, gives you basic insights on the allocation across different sectors, dividend yield, volatile stocks in your portfolio, and you can also compare to the average tip rank portfolio if you want to. The next one is portfolio news. It's nicely organized as you can see here. You can filter news applicable to a specific stock organized by date and then you can see the source on the right as well. There's new sentiments for the last seven days but it's not as relevant for long-term investor in my opinion. The more useful ones are the bullish and bearish news categories. Reading bearish news from time to time can be good to have a more balanced view and at times it could help you to validate your own investment thesis. The last one, the portfolio calendar, makes it easy to see events for stocks in your portfolio such as ex-dividend date, earning release date, and so on. So what else do they have here? On the left, they have some basic investment tools such as stock screener, trending stocks, and so on. Just like in most of the features, you would have some basic functionality and more advanced feature uh, locked to premium members. I don't have the premium membership so I can't tell how good they are but the basic or free access are still useful for regular investors. So the last portfolio tracker is Seeking Alpha. It's available through desktop and mobile app as well. So the website you probably have run into when researching a particular stock. Just like in tip ranks, you can import and synchronize your holding from various stocks broker supporting the plate integration. So unfortunately these are just US stock brokers. Well, it doesn't give you basic portfolio insights like allocation and diversification. You have many metrics available for your holdings such as earnings, valuation, growth, stock price performance, profitability, and so on. This, in my opinion, give a more complete view of your stock holding evaluation on an individual basis. So there are also different ratings listed here from Seeking Alpha Authors, Wall Street Financial Analysts, and the Quant ratings compiled by Seeking Alpha. Anyway, these are just different opinions from different sources that you might want to consider in your investment decision making process. So what I like about Seeking Alpha is the wealth of information provided when viewing a single stock. So it's suitable for those who like to do in-depth research. When there is a sharp price movement on a stock, most of the time I would find the reason first in Seeking Alpha website. When viewing a single stock, you can also see the different stock analysis and the different opinion from various authors. It's good that they are all labeled uh, based on the perspective, bearish, bullish, or neutral. And I would also expect better quality content here as it gets reviewed before published rather than the machine generated ones that sometimes show up in the different portfolio news aggregators. Since early this year, however, Seeking Alpha has limited the amount of free articles that you can read unless you are a paid subscriber. Anyway, if none of these tools are suitable for you, feel free to check out my previous video on the three best free portfolio tracker, Yahoo Finance, Wallmine, and Google Spreadsheet. Hopefully this video is helpful and good luck with your investment.